I've got a completely initialized patch here, and I'm on layer A, and I'm going to choose a basic kind of triangle waveform. Now let's go to layer B, make sure to put it on, and I'm going to choose the same waveform over here. So I'm going to go to synth mode, and there we are in triangle. So we have the same happening in both. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I want to show you the analog and phase controls. Now analog basically adds inconsistency to the pitch and the phase of the oscillator. When we dial it in negative values, it alters the phase, and when we dial it in positive values, it alters the pitch, and we can get a nice detuned effect. But the thing is, to hear what these do, you have to hear it in contrast or along with an additional oscillator in order to hear the difference. So in this case, I have both the exact same DSP-generated wavetable used on both layers, and I'm just going to alter it on one layer, and we'll hear it contrasting the default value on the alternate layer. So let me play this little part that I have, and you'll see as I dial the analog knob to the left, we'll hear a kind of out-of-phase type of sound where the sound gets kind of thin, a little bit of a kind of comb filtering effect. There it's fuller when it's straight up. Now listen as I dial it in positive territory, and you'll hear a kind of chorusing effect as it's detuned in contrast to the same waveform that's going to remain neutral. So it gives it a nice kind of thickened chorus detuned effect. I'm going to snap this back to unity value. Let me go here and do the same thing. And let's look at the phase control. Now, again, what this does is best heard in contrast with an oscillator generating the exact same waveform. As we sweep this, one is going to become out of phase with the other, and we'll hear that kind of out of phase type of thinning of the sound. Let me put this all the way down. I think we'll hear it a little more clearly. There we go. So you can really hear the phase relationship changing as it's swept through the shape of the waveform while the other one plays in the static shape. And we can modulate this. So I can set up an LFO routing to modulate the oscillator phase, for example. And we can hear a kind of sweeping comb filtering. versus without it. So it's subtle, but it gives a little bit of a kind of sweeping effect to the phase of the sound of the waveform. Let me add in some of the detuning, and here we've taken just a simple raw waveform and created a kind of colorful sound from it. And that's the power of Omnisphere. We have such fine control over each nuance that we can really shape the sound, even with just basic controls like this. We'll see you more in the next video.